Here's why everything feels so bad, I think. God. Reality is curated to be exactly what we want it to be all of the time. This is regarding music, movies, content, even people. This is due to things like Spotify or the YouTube algorithm that's bringing you this video, but also for things like social media and dating apps, which let you filter out anyone you don't want to see or hear from every day. I mean, ideally we shouldn't be hearing from anyone every single day, but we are, we are far past that. Why the fuck is this person following me? Because you have made it available to do so. You can wake up and go to bed while consuming something you like at all times in between. Also, we're more passive than ever. We're all just kind of vaguely okay with the thing that's in front of us, not seeking out what we actually want anymore. It's like going to a diner and being like, give me anything. I mean, this is bigger than the diner metaphor though. Like in theory, you wouldn't even be, really be picking the restaurant. It's a, uh, we're getting into semantics, it's fine. In turn, when we are forced to deal with a piece of media or a person or a task that doesn't align with our desires, we are incredibly combative towards it. We strive for objectivity in these video articles and not to too explicitly state our opinion on things. However, this lack of togetherness, I will say, feels bad. Our human nature is to find differences and then operate in packs of likeness. This has always been a thing we do, but due to things like technology, we have more ways to separate ourselves from each other than ever. What used to be land borders and spices are now different subcategories of being a Drake fan. It's not the technology driving us apart though. That's not to blame. I mean, firstly, we made the technology. Secondly, it only plays on and exploits the instincts and subconscious behaviors that have been around since the beginning of human beings. It's not just us. And as for the things we do like, we can explore the full rabbit hole of whatever thing we want in a day or two and then have nowhere else to go. There's not a lot that can leave us with months and months of hope and wonder and thoughts and something to look forward to anymore. We can learn everything we want about anything we want in a weekend. This is why we're so unfulfilled. And because of the lack of common experiences, it's hard to hold a new conversation of any value. What's incredibly concerning is our communication in talking about this. The highest volume of communication now is on the internet, where certain words or phrases can catch. We continue to have less and less experience talking to one another in person. And when nervous, we lean on what is cool or comfortable or will signify to the other person that we're tapped the fuck in. And when these interactions don't go well, we then crawl back to the internet. Say there's a new album. Typically, there are three possible opinions. Bro, this shit is fire. How have I not heard this before? I, I see how you guys would like this. It, it's it's okay. It's 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 mid. It's mid. Yeah, nah, bro. This shit's trash. This shit's trash. How do you leave the studio proud of yourself after making something like this? This binary language lacks nuance. The internet has popularized it in order to get reactions out of people, but it has spread to our brains and is the only way we interact with each other at all. Typically, trendy words or phrases mean that the culture is getting pushed forward, and the actual words are a cosmetic detail that mean the same sentiment as previous words or phrases. However, now it seems these terms have less substance and depth than ever. It's easier to be stimulated. I had to throw my phone across the room in order to write this video article in the first place. All evidence points to our primal desire as human beings to be in a coffin of our own creation. But I fight against that every day. By, um, by you know, ma making videos on the internet. Because, uh, uh,